Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our next contestant, Zoya Mabuto. Her speech title, The Diviner of the Road. The Diviner of the Road, Zoya Mabuto. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen. This song was made famous by Mama Africa, Miriam Makeba, and is also known as the Click Song. I, I, ha. In my home language, it's a course, is the term for a traditional healer or diviner. The song tells us the story of the knock knock beetle, Ukongotwan, as the diviner of the road, Hikricha Lenzela. It is not uncommon for black African cultures to use the services of a traditional healer to help God along, as my family often say. <laughs> what is interesting, though, is that central to the analysis of a traditional healer is a tendency to throw blame on some or the other dark force as the cause of one's woes, giving scant regard to empowering the individual to do anything to change their lives. This was the case with my younger sister who went to visit Ikeikha and was told that two of her friends were trying to bewitch her. Picture this. My sister and the Ikeikha in the dimly lit, stuffy room. The smell of weeds, umuti, penetrating the air. Silence as both are seated on the ground in anticipation of what the bones will reveal. Over the months that followed this revelation, I watched my sister become paranoid and suspicious, a victim who blamed witchcraft when things didn't go according to plan. Instead of helping her, the visit to the traditional healer had instilled fear in her. But what does all this have to do with you and your life? Have you ever been to see a fortune teller? Have you ever had your palm read? What about a tarot card reading? If you answered yes to even one of these questions, then you too have done it. You have, at one point or another in your life, gone to a place or a person in search of answers. My sister's visit to the traditional healer was about a young girl desperate for answers when life just wasn't going right. At first, I too struggled to understand why she chose to do it this way. But as Atticus Finch says in the novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, you never really understand a person until you climb into their skin and walk around in it. I had to accept that this was her way of exploring the world as she perceived it at that point in time. You see, when you deny responsibility, you allow others power over your life, much like my sister did, and much like I think we all do. It was not until she made the decision to take responsibility that things started to change, 
that she got back her life and started to live her dreams. By challenging what the traditional healer had revealed, she made the choice to claim back her power. Response, ability. Talks to your ability to respond, to act in reply, to pledge, to rise to the occasion. When you take responsibility, you give the message that I, I am in charge. I attended a Toastmasters workshop and one of the speakers, Mr. Khaled Matlakhaitu, said the following. Your life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. Now these wise words resonate with me because you say things like, I just want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to develop and grow. I want to be stretched and challenged. And then what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> it is only a brave few who say the same thing and then actually do something to grow. If you wish to be like these few, then the hardest thing you will have to do is to take that first step out of the comfort zone and take responsibility for your life. And when you do that, you will come to learn that you have got to stop making excuses. The simple truth is that the person who really wants to do something finds a way. The other person, well, they just find an excuse. Who will you choose to be? My sister made her choice, and today she's living her dreams, authentic and brave and beautiful. At the end of it all, this isn't about the bones or the lines on your palm. It isn't even about being right or wrong. It is simply about your ability to respond in light of your own life and how you see your life. It is about you taking charge. I challenge you to take that first step out of the comfort zone. I challenge you to heed the words of the click song and become Ikricha Lenlela, a diviner on your own life journey. Silence for the judges, please.